Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Last. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is a continuation of last week's demo, number 80. You know, there are many ways to start a painting, and I was telling you last week, this is what works for me. So if you recall the last Bob Blast, uh, how I started painting step one was I determined what the composition was going to be. And this one we decided was going to be the golden section. And also from my color wheel or anybody's color wheel, but this one was from my color wheel. Uh, I've chosen the dominant color and the focal point color and the two spice colors. So if you recall what we did is I basically put the dominant color red all over the entire canvas, you know, scrumbling it around and scraping and scratching and having different kinds of red. It doesn't have to be just one kind of red. And just basically the first step, having way too much fun at the beginning and also making sure I knew where the focal point was going to be for step two and three. And now, now that it's all dried, now I'm going to go into step two and three. So now that the red underpainting, the dominant color happens to be red. I got it from my color wheel over here. Uh, that's the dominant color. Now I go over to the second color, which is the focal point color. Here you are. Looks like a blue green. There you are, something like that. Uh, then the two spice colors. We have this purple blue color over here I put together. Over here is this kind of a Kelly green. That's spice color number four. Okay, the two, here we go. I have plenty of focal point color. Here we go, right up to the focal point. The eye goes right there to it. You can't miss it. I'm even gonna add a little bit of white in here. I'm basically painting, and look where the focal point is. Straight there where we had pre-planted the golden focal point. And by the way, when I had that color on my brush, you know, I might put it somewhere else too. But I tone it down, tone it way down. Otherwise you don't wanna be in competition with the focal point. Now the next thing to do is to get some of the uh, focal point over here, right there, around, I mean the spice colors, right around the, the focal point. Like that. Tone it down so it doesn't become dominant. See, your eye goes right here. I mean, there's not that much on this canvas, but that's where your eye's gonna go. And now the other color, the other spice color. Two spice colors. And you put it close, put it close to the focal point color. Over here. That's what, in other words, it augments the focal point color. There's your focal point color. And you can do all kinds of other things with that, of course. And now that's starting to get pretty exciting. We had a little bit, maybe even some more white in here. Yes, I was painting with my fingers there. You caught me. And I'm going to go back and have some more fun with this focal point color. See where, what happens. You can't miss it now. You can't miss it now. It is right there. Look how the different colors I have there. So your eye still goes there. And I don't go too much further than that at this point, because what I'd like to do on the next Bob Blast is show you the finishing touches. Remember, under every great painting is a great abstract painting. Always start loose, stay loose, and keep it wet. So that's it for this one. And remember, if you missed any of the other Bob Blasts, you go right here, rubberfurge.com, and there you'll see the archives. They've all been archived, especially for you. Just push a button and they all come up. There's a whole lot of them. I think we're up to number 80 right about now. So uh, next time, though, I'm going to show you how we finish this. Keep it loose. 